Hello, Sagittarius. What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Sagittarius Empire. This is your girl, Sag Empress. I hope everyone is blessed, highly favored, doing well, having a good day, good week, Sagittarius. This is your weekly reading for March the 11th through the 18th. Let me make sure. March the 11th through the 18th, the next seven days, Sagittarius, to see what you need to know. What's coming in? All right. And all the good energy, Sagittarius, for you. Um, got some energies out here and I do want to talk about it first Sagittarius if you're new please make sure that you subscribe to the channel guys all right or if you have not thank you guys for all your love and support I truly appreciate you Sagittarius all right here to give you inspiration and guidance Sagittarius along the way all right so um, yeah a lot of energy out here Sagittarius there will be an extended reading to this if you'd like to join to get this extended readings on the patreon it is the first link in the description box below okay first link and the description box below Sagittarius first link and the second option all right the second option says Patreon Sagittarius um, with the Patreon membership you also get your member support badges all in one all right if you do not want to join the members um, the Patreon Sagittarius get your member support badges only a dollar ninety nine when you click that first link in the description box below it is the first option okay Sagittarius thank you thank you thank you for your shifts your, your subscribes your shares your comments the positive comments of course okay thank you guys i love you let's get to it sagittarius right now there's a deep knowing this week number three is very significant for you. you've been waiting on your ships to come in i feel like not only waiting taking action to sagittarius okay there's a deep knowing here element is water here an important hunt psychic abilities here channeling source your intuition is on point sagittarius there is more than what meets the eye in this situation so this card means that the truth it's not physically obvious, Sagittarius, at this time. You're being called to exercise your sixth sense, okay? Look for signs from the guides, from your guides, ancestors, and the higher power that you're on the right now. So wait, look, ancestors and higher powers that you're on the right path. So you're on the right path, okay? So your ancestors, your, your guides are trying to let you know, Sagittarius, you are on the right path at this time. Number 13, I am confident here breaks down to four this is about your stability this is about your happily ever after this is about your four wants energy your stability your marriage here or just your family here you are conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and tuning them into and turning them into some i can't see into something real an optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as your work steadily towards steadily towards your goals as you work steadily towards your goals i am confident so sagittarius i feel like you need to know that you have the confidence or you need to get to confidence okay you need be you need to be optimistic sagittarius all right this is in your energy here words of abundance i'm like mixing the cards up holy spirit tell me what sagittarius need to know words of abundance popped out and i mean it was a strong energy guys okay it says you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. This was in your next 72, Sagittarius. If you have not, go watch your next 72. A lot of good energies and messages there for you that you need to know. So this is correlating with your next 72, Sagittarius. And words of abundance here. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So some of you guys may be speaking negatively now. It's time for you to turn your your mindset around. It's time for you to turn your consciousness and subconscious around Sagittarius where you are thinking nothing but positive thoughts throughout the day, throughout the night when you are thinking, tossing and turning Sagittarius. Okay, stressing about things. It's time to turn those words around into words of abundance. Okay, so yes, yeah, Sagittarius, this is for you. We had bottom deck number two. Um, you have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuit intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of the situation and advise others toward the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. There may be something that you're following intuition, Sagittarius, that you're making decisions and helping others throughout the week. Okay. You may be um, a boss here, a manager here, a CEO. You may be over some folks here, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, we have here face your financial fear, Sagittarius. And I feel like with doing that, what you do is speak these words of abundance out into the atmosphere. When you are honest with yourself about fears of the success or failure, 
they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has to struggle with and release these self doubts, Sagittarius. So there's some self doubts that you need to release Saggy. All right. Yep. Your main energy here. There's definitely a deep knowing Sagittarius and you're filling your cup. I do need to read that. Fill your cup, your neck here. You're in water here. Deep knowing the color blue is very significant. All right. There's a deep knowing and you're filling your cup here, Sagittarius. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Sagittarius, loving the energy for you. This is for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. All right. I'm hearing something. I'm um, God. Guide me, Holy Spirit. Thank you. This is for Sagittarius. They said spread the deck. But well, we got two of Raphael here, two of hearts dedicated Ooh, to creating something wonderful. Kinder spirits, don't give up on those you love, Sagittarius, okay? Maybe you're using intuition. This is about you, Sagittarius, okay? Fill your cup here. Holy Spirit, this is for Sagittarius Collective. Thank you. How many you want me to go, Holy Spirit? Let me see. Sagittarius. All right, let's go. All right. I lost my train of thought. Unaffected by number 19 and number one here. Love begins the light here. The light is being shown on a situation, Sagittarius. I feel like what you're unaffected by this week is Holy Spirit is letting you know, Sagittarius, that you are, you still have love regardless of, you know, what the situation is, Sagittarius, okay? Queen of Gabriel, this is you, Queen of Wands, and two of Michael. Something is coming together for you, a love that you cannot deny. I forgot about this one down here. Let me get one, Holy Spirit. Thank you. They're taking me down a different route. New beginning for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Here we got, in the outcome, we have serendipity here and thinker. All right. I feel like this thinking energy is you. And I feel like Sagittarius, make sure that you like, you study long, you study wrong. That's what I'm getting. You study long, you study wrong here. Okay. All right. Decision. There's a decision that you need to make, Sagittarius. All right. And the seven, but you have a lot of options here too. Okay. Um, a lot of clarity coming through with the Ace of Raphael at the bottom of the deck here. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the Sagittarius. Love begins. So there's a deep knowing filling your cup here. I do need to, I want to read that. All right. Let's read that real quick. Fill your cup here. Number 17. Number eight. All right. Fill your cup, air and water, deep cellular healing optimism hope for a bright future this card means that you have learned to appreciate your journey as a unique and guided experience with a higher purpose pour into yourself come back to your earliest source of joy creativity and inspiration and you will find yourself in a time of a supreme spiritual emotional and physical wellness i feel like you guys are really into you right now like you're loving yourself you're just into you here you're releasing things we got a release of ritual here sagittarius and you're just not holding on to things saggy and i feel like it's really changing things within you um for a good purpose here deep knowing using your intuition i feel like you're seeing you're starting to see the brighter things of life here this week okay um and i feel like with that you are being open and doors are being open for you too all right Let's see, color blue is very significant here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the Chariot. These all three cards was in my hand. How many major arcanas can you have? Things are turning in your favor, forward movement, positive situations, the Emperor, power here, all right? To a Raphael here, Sagittarius, two hearts dedicated to creating, all right? Something wonderful, kinder spirits, don't give up on those you love here. So there's a deep knowing. When I first suffered the deck, it was it was really talking about love, really heavy, okay? The Knight of Swords. What's the two of Raphael here for Sagittarius? Two of Raphael here for Sagittarius. This is the of love here. The lovers and the page of cups here, okay? Gemini energy, water energy with the page of cups here. You may definitely have choices because we have um, the decisions here. Seven of Gabriel, seven of cups. Oh, this is seven of wands. Okay, wait a minute. So you have choices, the lovers, or it's like you guys are really falling in love with yourself or you're meeting someone and this is your soulmate. Okay? Page of cups, energy to the lovers. Let's see what's going on here, Sagittarius, for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on here for Sagittarius? We got the two of Raphael here for Sagittarius. Two hearts dedicated to creating something new. And this is your leading energy this week. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Wow. Relocation. Somebody may be, may be relocating, Sagittarius. You may be re relocating. Um, a change in home. Moving to a new location. Plans to relocate. Relocating for work. Celebration. You're celebrating here. What's the two of Raphael for Sagittarius? Two hearts dedicate to creating the sadness here, okay? All right. The manifestation here. Give me one more. What's the two of Raphael for Sagittarius? We got... Somebody's not happy here, all right? You're not happy. There's some toxicity in situation, Sagittarius. You may be doing a Gemini. Don't have to be. I feel like there is somebody that's coming back to you to give you some type of apology here. Um, but then again, it can't be somebody new that you're dealing with it. After you feel your cup, Sagittarius, you have somebody else that's coming in to give you love. What, what's the main situation with this lover's energy? What's the main situation with this lover's energy here for Sagittarius? Main situation here. We got the King of Pentacles, okay? King of Pentacles to what? The death to the two of wands. Something is coming together. Where's Sagittarius energy of the lovers? Where's Sagittarius energy of the lovers here? Where's Sagittarius energy? Okay, what popped out? The Ace of Wands. There is a new beginning here for you, Sagittarius, the judgment. So definitely I do see someone here who, who wants another chance with you, Sagittarius. There may be an apology coming through this week from someone that you're dealing with or may have dealt with. And it's like Sagittarius is like um this... I'm sorry, Holy Spirit is telling you to use your intuition because we have deep knowing, okay? There is a deep knowing here, King of Pentacles. Also, Sagittarius, I feel like there could be a situation where you're going into a new beginning here and it could concern like a job or something, okay? And Holy Spirit wants you to use your intuition in the situation because even though there might be a choice, there might be a new beginning, some, something is stable and something may not be so stable. Something may be good in the beginning there that may not be good, Okay. What's the new beginnings here for Sagittarius? Thank you, Holy Spirit. New beginnings. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose and forgiving and compassionate review of the past here. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like you've been through a Ten of Wands here, Sagittarius. And you're letting go of these burdens. All right. You're like, I only have one staff to lean on and this is about to go. There, After you let go of that one, that one staff that you hold on on Sagittarius, there is hope for life on this. You see that those um, green flowers on here? That, that's life. That's a new beginning for you through a situation. Some of you guys may have be going through a situation where there was a... I don't, I don't see anybody. I did see the death earlier, okay? Um, there may be, you know, something in here for a new beginning for you or you're re reconciling with someone, all right? Holy Spirit, what's influencing this um, Ace of Wands? What's influencing this Ace of Wands here for Sagittarius, the sun? Wow happiness all right leo's energy the moon the temperance you've been patient seven of cups a lot of options i definitely feel like sagittarius you guys have been filling your cup here some of you have definitely been speaking these words of abundance to yourself just speaking out loud here and just doing your thing and now you have this new beginning coming in for you and definitely it's fresh sagittarius okay some of you guys may slip up on this and not realize that this is a new beginning for you, a new opportunity for you. Ace of Wands to the Page of Cups, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles. Something definitely very stable here that you want to fall in love with. Also, Sagittarius, if this is somebody that's coming in love, this person is very stable, okay? And I feel like this definitely can be a soulmate for you. Um, new beginnings, but requires you, you know, to review the past, but definitely forget the past. Somebody may come back and want to have a, you know, have a reconciliation with you Sagittarius that's sad here okay disappointment regret and unwelcome here happiness here you may have was doing the Capricorn something was very toxic here now somebody or they were getting their karmic justice Sagittarius okay give me one what's the deep knowing for Sagittarius Holy Spirit deep knowing deep knowing thank you fluidity staying flexible adaptable Keep an open mind. Going with the flow. Be teachable here, okay? Go with the flow here, Sagittarius. This is what Holy Spirit wants you to know. Um, and divine time. And things are happening in divine time. And let things go. Trust in divine time. And here, Sagittarius, in your energy, okay? The sun is with the ace of wands. Leo's energy. There's a new beginning for you. After something has happened. So what's, what's really happening, Holy Spirit? Let me see. Why is this leading, leading energy? What's happening this week with the leading energy? What's happening with the leading energy this week for Sagittarius? Thank you. 
What's happening with the leading energy this week for Sagittarius? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Defend. Okay, Scorpio energy and communicate. Defend. What are you defending? You're protecting something. You could just be protecting yourself. Also, hmm. let's see. Right now, what you're unaffected by, we have the light and love begins, okay? I don't know, Sagittarius. Did you go through a situation where two of Michael's like the two of swords energy, where you had to cut somebody off um, or you had to make a decision here? And I'm hearing a rash decision, okay? This, this incoming energy. Not knowing, but you're unaffected by this love begins in light. The light is being shown on a situation. Number 19 breaks down to 10. There's an ending to a new beginning. Love begins here. I feel like some of you guys, you know, regardless, it's still going to work in your favor with this love begins in light. However, that resonates with you. We have Queen of Gabriel, which is you, Queen of Wands energy. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to, to attract helpful people. What is this for Sagittarius? Queen of Gabriel. Queen of Gabriel here for Sagittarius. The Ten of Swords. Wow. Something definitely may be ending here. Ten of Swords, Energy, Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles, but it's only to give you this new beginning. Six of Wands. Success here for you. So if there was an ending of a relationship, the end of a job, the end of some type of situation, Sagittarius, you're not affected by this. It's just working in your favor. It's still going to work out. Okay. It's still going to be balanced. You're still going to get the blessing that you reserve. Okay, Six of Wands is still going to be successful here. Two of Michael, it, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise, okay? And I feel like Sagittarius, even if you don't make this decision, like you, you, the universe is going to make a decision for you. Two of Michael, okay? You have the Page of Pentacles. You may definitely have somebody coming in trying to help you, Sagittarius, okay? To the Four of Cups. Something wasn't satisfying here. Something was dissatisfying. What is the Queen of Gabriel here for Sagittarius? Queen of Gabriel. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. Queen of Gabriel. Queen of Gabriel here for Sagittarius. Finances. Some of you guys, there's a job that's coming to an end, Sagittarius. So you may have to travel for a job or something that's coming to an end. Finances here. Financial issues are affecting your affecting are a factor. Trying to generate more income, good, bad, financial changes, clearing debts. Some of you guys are going through some financial issues here. Just know that you're not affected by whatever's ending here. I feel like this financial situation is ending because with the Queen of Gabriel, which is your energy, you're taking charge of the situation here, okay? Um, what is the Queen of Gabriel here for? Sagittarius, where they're unaffected by the Queen of Gabriel, love, all right? Love here. So if there is somebody, Sagittarius, that you were going through some type of trial and error with, you know, you just couldn't figure them out. They couldn't figure out there. You know, it just wasn't matching here. Love begins. Um, there is love for you, regardless of the situation, Sagittarius. OK. Like you thought this was going to tear you down, but it's not. OK, it's not going to tear you down here, Sagittarius. You're not going to be affected by this. It was just a learning lessons here. And then we got abundance at the bottom of the deck. Why is the. Um, to a Michael here. Two of Michael here for Sagittarius. Two of Michael here. You're thinking about something. Time off. All right. Time off. What's the two of Michael? The star. Look at you. Look at you. Some of you guys, just a real situation in life. You're like, you know, I need some time to myself. I need to take off from the job. I need to do this. I need to do that. And it's like, if I take off, you know, I may not have the money. I may not have this. Sagittarius, don't worry about it, baby. Take that. Take off. Take that bath. Relax. Okay. Take your time to relax here. Taking care of yourself first. Doing things that make you happy and enjoying life more. So your wish fulfillment here. Blessings here. Wealth, fame, becoming quite popular. Brand new and hopeful life. Some of you guys really like thinking that things are not going to work out for you the way you thought it was. And it is. Okay. What's going on? What is Sagittarius unaffected by with the light and love begins? What is Sagittarius unaffected by with light and love begins here? Weekly energy. The light and love begins for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you. Love. Love. What is going on? Trick. Somebody may be trying to play a trick on you, Sagittarius. 
Use your intuition, okay? Use your deep knowing what you know about this person here. What about love, Holy Spirit? What Sagittarius is unaffected by with the love? What about it? Disguise, try to come out. Somebody is wearing a fake mask, Sagittarius, okay? What is love that Sagittarius is unaffected by with the love energy? Why? What are they unaffected by with the love energy? Thank you. A memory, okay? A memory here. Some of you guys may be definitely taking, um, like, it says a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Holy Spirit wants you right now, this energy coming in this week. I don't know what has happened. If there's something that happened, like in your family here, Sagittarius, with the aunts, uncles, cousins, daddy, mama, whatever here, Sagittarius, whatever has taken place, Holy Spirit is like, you need to, there's a, we have a new beginning for you, but you need to let go of this wand. You need to let go of this wand if you want this new beginning, Sagittarius. We can't give you this new beginning if you don't let go of this wand. Because there's an Ace of Wands here. There's a King of Pentacles here. If you just receive this love into your heart, Page of Cups, all right? We have something for you. But you need to make the decision to do this, all right? You need to make sure that you're healing here with the Star Energy. Gnome gnome the gnomes because there's a gnome on this card here right or what is that is that a gnome it would be better if you make a decision over analyzing the problem here find a compromise what is the tool michael what is this decision for sagittarius what is this decision for sagittarius thank you evil eye here okay Cleansing, protect your energy, jealous people nearby, careful who you trust. You are protected. Learning. What is the decision? What's the two of Michael for Sagittarius? Two of Michael here. Two of Michael here for Sagittarius. Renewal. What's the two of Michael for Sagittarius? Dating. Okay. Being open to love. Seeing somebody specific going out on dates. Feeling good and flirting. So you have somebody new that's coming in Sagittarius. And I feel like Holy Spirit is telling you, hey, don't go down memory lane where you were, where you're thinking about past situations and past things here, because we're offering you something new when this person comes in. Are you going to be open to love here? Are you going to heal yourself the way that you need to be healed, Sagittarius, so we can offer this to you? Okay. Even though that Ten of Swords things has ended before and it didn't go your way in the past, doesn't mean it's not going to go this way, you know, now. So it's turning to like a, you know, it's talking about love here, Sagittarius. And definitely loving yourself. All right. Let's see. We got soulmates. You're meeting your soulmate here. Harmonious partnership, a powerful love, soul, family, groups, a bond that helps you grow. Okay. Real quick. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. There's a card that's not supposed to be in here. I feel it. So right now, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we have the leading energy with the deep knowing. Fill your cup. We have the two of wands. We have the um, lovers here, the new beginning. What's coming in with the incoming leading energy this week? Leading energy. What's incoming here? Leading energy. Leap. Thank you. The devil. Okay, Capricorn energy. Denates greedy, materialistic, self person dis disregard here. All right. For others. Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. But I don't think that, that, I don't think. Let's see. Why is the devil? Okay. Cards is coming out here. Why is the devil here, Holy Spirit? Why is the devil here? The Six of Pentacles. And the, so remember we saw Toxic earlier. Somebody is turning around their toxic ways here, okay? It's going to shock you. Where's Sagittarius energy of the devil? <laughs> Jared, where's Sagittarius energy of the devil, Holy Spirit? Where's Sagittarius energy of the devil? The Seven of Pentacles to Four of Wands here, to the Six of Swords. You're like, I'm not wasting my time. Some of you guys are not wasting this time on, you know, ma like materialistic things or things that has held you stuck, held you captive here. 
you're walking away from this. You're going towards common waters. And look where you're going. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Two, the Four of Wands. You're going towards your stability, towards your happiness, toward your celebration. Okay? The devil here. Look how these people have chains on them. Something was definitely holding you back, Sagittarius, in a situation. And now it's like you're deep knowing. You're following your intuition here to let these things go this week. And focus on what you know that's best for you. Because the Ace of Wands, new beginning here to the King of Pentacles here. There's a new beginning, but Holy Spirit is like Sagittarius. needs to let go of these Ten of Wands. What's this new beginning and the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius? New beginning and the Ten of Wands here for Sagittarius. The Tower and the Sixth. Look at this. Victory, baby. And the Tower. Wow. Like, if you take this first step, I'll take the rest. Six of Wands energy. Your dreams and plans are finally fulfilled. Hard work and careful planning results in glorious success, fame, public recognition, and honor. Victory over the opposition. Okay. Triumph and success here, Sagittarius, for you have the po a positive effect on your self-esteem here. So you got a confidence boost. Your self-esteem is going up. Confident. I am confident here. Like if, we, if you don't have the confidence, Sagittarius, we're going to give it to you, baby. Okay. The tower here, Scorpio energy, long held beliefs and ideas are challenged. Overall chaos here, sudden crisis or misery. So natural disaster, all aspects in your life are open. So I feel like this is telling you to take action. Let me clarify, Sagittarius, to see Ten of Swords. There's an ending, you know, something definitely could be going wrong in the family here. But it's putting you towards your new beginning. Like we, this is what this is what we have to do to put you on your way, Sagittarius. Okay, why is the tower here? Why is the tower here, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius? Thank you. The Eight of Wands. They're like it's time for you to move forward. Okay, the judgment here. You are at a major crossroad in life. You must take action to resolve events more quickly, or miss out on opportunities here. Careful planning is important. So Sagittarius, there's opportunity that's coming in. There's situations um, coming to resolutions too. Be on that lookout for important news or information that's coming in really fast. New beginnings here. There's a deep knowing, Sagittarius. And I feel like it's all coming in because you're filling your cup. You're smelling the flowers. You're smelling the roses now, okay? You're taking a step back. And I feel like it's going to be shocking to judgment here. Yeah. Forgive those who hurt you, Sagittarius, and move on with your life, okay? Yeah. There's the turnaround here with the judgment to the Hierophant, Six of Swords. I feel like you guys are really into religion or just very spiritual right now, but there's a turnaround to the judgment, the Hierophant. Like, God is leading you into a direction, Sagittarius. Time off in the star. You are the star here. 81 says it's moving fast. Okay. A lot of energy here, Sagittarius. Let's see. So right now, um, what you're unaffected by, I feel like Sagittarius, like any ending that happened before in the past or ending that's happened now, Sagittarius, you're not affected by this. Okay. You're not affected by these finances that may look like they're not going to get on track. You have a decision to make in dating here. You are protected, Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like there's somebody new that's, that's like really triggered you that's coming in here or that you're dealing with. And it's like, Holy Spirit is like, Sagittarius, don't look at this person like you looked at the past, all right? Serendipity and thinker is here any outcome for you. Serendipity, Sagittarius, is like, this is your happily ever after energy. Decision here, release yourself from that which holds you back. The need to detox, unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. It keeps going back to that. You guys, you know, made like the self-confidence like, okay, am I really meant to be with this person? Like, and you know, is this person really for me? Like you're second guessing yourself. Roll the dice in marriage, I saw. Take a risk. Somebody's taking a risk. Who about to get married? What's the decision here for Sagittarius? Decision. Decision here for Sagittarius. Decision. Thank you. Yep, we got surviving a rare gift. Some of you guys are in a mindset of where you're just barely hanging on. Paycheck to paycheck here. No savings here. Limited resources here. And it's all because your mindset, you don't have the confidence that you need. You are a rare gift or you have a rare gift, Sagittarius, that you need to give to the world. Seize the opportunities here. Unique gifts bring luck and success and the power to attract wealth. 
But the thing is, Sagittarius, you lack the confidence and you need to make a decision here. What is this decision concerning for Sagittarius and the outcome near future? What is this decision for Sagittarius this week, Holy Spirit? Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles. Are you going to take action or not? The Knight of Pentacles doesn't move. You got to take action, Sagittarius, like this Knight of Swords. Then the tower will start to shake up things, Sagittarius, okay? What's influence of the decision here for Sagittarius? Decision? Decision here? For come something that's not fulfilling. Something that's not... What's decision here? Decision for Sagittarius, the star. The star and the Aquarius energy here and the three of pentacles. Something about a job. Some of you guys need to walk away from a job. It's no longer fulfilling. This place is dead, Sagittarius. As I split the deck... What's the star concerning for Sagittarius? What's the star concerning for Sagi? The Two of Swords. There's that decision, Sagittarius. The Two of Pentacles. You just need to get, get clarity. I don't know what decision is. You know what this decision is about. Seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence here. Claim your personal power. What's the Seven of Gabriel for Sagittarius? The Emperor. The Emperor. The Queen of Wands here. If you don't like it, why are you still holding on to a four of cups? If you don't like it, why are you still holding on for holding on to it? Because they're giving you serendipity. You have serendipity here, Sadie. Okay. I gotta read that. What is the this right here? Seven of Gabriel, seven of Wands. What is this? The temperance. The high priest is use your intuition. You've been patient with Sagittarius. The temperance, the emperor. The Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups. For some of you guys, you're meeting somebody where you're coming together with this person, building something with Sagittarius. And Holy Spirit just wants you to use your intuition. You also need to pray about this too, because there's a lot of happiness that comes in this situation with this person. Okay? You guys could be in school or something like that too, or seeking counseling with the Hierophant energy. All right. Um, Holy Spirit, give me one more. What's influencing this? This um, Seven of Gabriel. What's influencing the seventh grade for Sagittarius and the outcome? The Six of Pentacles. Things are now being balanced to the Queen of Pentacles here. Give me the Seven of Gabriel for Sagittarius. Seven of Wands, stand up. Gain your personal power, Seven of Gabriel, and the outcome energy for Sagittarius. Seven of Gabriel. Poor health here. Get yourself together, Sagittarius. What does this have to do for you? Poor health, neglecting your health, health needs, assessment, mental health, addictive habits here. Some of you guys may have some type of addictive habits, Sagittarius. Hot mess. Disorderly habits, you, um, untidy mind, chaotic, feeling miserable, unhappy, being ris um, irresponsible in the world. Something needs to end here to the what? Chaos. You are holding on to some type of heavy burden, Sagittarius. Okay. And it needs to end. You're burned out, baby. What are you holding on to? You're burned out. Where's Sagittarius energy at with this hot mess? Where's Sagittarius energy at this hot mess? The temperance. You know who you are. The judgment here. The Ten of Pentacles. For some of you guys, like you can be this Empress. You can have this. Okay, Sagittarius? You can have this Empress energy. You are this Empress, but you guys are not. You lack the confidence. You refuse to make the decision that you need to make. What is Thinker about for Sagittarius in the near future? Thinker energy. The Two of Wands, wow. The Eight of Pentacles and the World. Six of Swords. Something could be doing a job here also. Eight of Pentacles energy where you know you need to leave one job and go to another because something is not stable or this is a toxic situation. Some of you guys are dealing with a toxic person, Sagittarius. You know that you need to leave this person alone. You have somebody else new that's in your energy. Okay? Something is coming together with the Two of Wands energy. What's this Two of Wands and this thinker? Two of Wands here, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The four of wands. Something is not fulfilling anymore. You have something else better. There's something else better here. Pour that cup out and walk away. However, it concerns you, Sagittarius. For a lot of you guys, it's your mindset. Like, Holy Spirit is like Sagittarius. Words of abundance. Speak your words of abundance. You can have this. The first card that flew out was like, let go of... Um, where was it? I need to find it. Because this was... It came out your um, next 72... It was like, let go, let go of, it's something about lack, hold on y'all, 
Here we go. This is what it was. Sever your vows of poverty. This came out your next 72, so go, go watch that. Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, okay? In any lifetime, as you do so, it all affects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time so it's like Sagittarius like you have this mindset you you lost the confidence or you lacked the confidence or you need to make a decision Sagittarius here and I feel like it's really the, it's really concerning what makes you happy what makes you you what makes you put you where you need to be in your serendipity what does the serendipity mean to you what is it is it love is it money is it marriage is it family four of wands is definitely doing family, marriage, stability, weddings, the Empress energy here. And whoever's in a hot mess, I mean, they like, why are you in this energy, Sagittarius, when you are the Empress? Why is the Empress here in Sagittarius energy, Empress? The lightning, sudden fast change here, unfinished, leaving things unfinished, trying to tie loose ends here. Shocking events taking place with the Empress energy. Oh, excuse me. Holy Spirit, give me a serendipity. What is the outcome near future with a serendipity and thinker? Seven serendipity and thinker for Sagittarius. Serendipity and thinker for Sagittarius. Work and energy. Something maybe take your energy here, Sagittarius. Okay. You need to work on yourself. Be honeybee. Or work around people that works like you. How does it? It can go in many different ways, Sagittarius. But I feel like there's there is something better for you if you just put this wand down. Why are you holding on to this last wand? Because all these spirits like there's a new beginning for you that we have for you, Sagittarius. Not only for you, for your famous, it's one, two, three, four people here: a man, a woman, and two children. However, it resonates. Okay. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, and forgiving a forgiving, compassionate view of the past here. But it all starts with you letting go of this wand. Okay. Holy Spirit, let me get one on that and I'll go to extend it. How can Sagittarius let go of this wand that they're hanging on to? How can he let this go, Holy Spirit? Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles, and the cut it out, Queen of Swords. Cut it out. Just look up. Look up and you will get the answers that you seek. This this um, queen of swords is looking up. They have a butterfly at the tip of their sword. I'm hearing, look up, Marlon. The Marlon Wayne show. I don't know. The judgment. The old you is being left behind, Sagittarius. This is, what, this is what's going to happen. The old you will be left behind and there's a start of a new Sagittarius. And what comes with that? You starting over like a child again with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Okay wow like you you are not you need to sever your vows of poverty here the the negative thoughts or words that are just speaking upon your life words of abundance here cut out what you need to cut out ten of wands let go of this wand okay something that's gonna be very shocking here we have the tower scorpio's energy let me get another deck What is this um, tower for Sagittarius with this new beginning? What's this tower for Sagittarius with this new beginning? Tower, tower, the queen of swords. It, it depends on you. It's going to shake stuff up. Nine of pentacles. What's this tower for Sagittarius with this new beginning? Tower, what's going on? Tower energy. Ten of cups. What is this tower about? Holy Spirit, the page of swords. Give me one more. Where's Sagittarius energy at with the tower? Where Sadie's energy with the Tower Holy Spirit, the lovers. There's a choice and a job and love, however it is to you, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords. What's the lovers here for Sagittarius? The star. Where Sagittarius energy with the lovers? Where Sagittarius energy with the lovers here? The Eight of Wands. A lot of communication here. What's the Eight of Wands here? The Four of Swords. Okay. Let me get another deck. 
before I go, what's this lovers for Sagittarius Holy Spirit? Why is this lovers here? Who has stabbed you in the back? Who has hurt you? Who, you know, what's going on here? This is a sad situation this week. Okay. Something is going on here. Holy Spirit wants you to know that it's okay. You're not going to be affected by the Sagittarius. If it was from a job, person, whatever here, you're not going to be affected by it. Things are going to turn in your favor because you need to just let go of that one wand that you're holding on to. Cut it clear out. Okay. Cut it clear out. The star, there's a lot of healing. What's the star? What's the star here? Holy Spirit. Thank you self-indulgence here focus on yourself your self-worth here time to heal shadow work self-appreciation appreciate yourself Sagittarius because remember somebody's wearing you wearing a mask here okay give me one more what's the tower here the tower what's going on with the tower hammer here self-sabotage and rebuilding repetitive working on it when you make you start making healthy choices for yourself, I feel like it's it's something about rebuilding yourself. Something, something I don't know, Sagittarius. I know there's a deep knowing here that you need to make. You need to fill your cup, Sagittarius, because in the end you have serendipity. All right, in the end you have serendipity. I'm gonna read this card and I'm gonna get out of here and go to extend it to look at your career and see what what's coming in and love and new. Okay, any new love coming here? Let's read this energy real quick serendipity here we have number 18 right quick sagittarius bear with me okay i feel like there's something significant about this energy 68 okay number 68 here we go opportunity aligned with readiness the awareness of synchronicity luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols a magical alignment of events your oracle message here, Sagittarius, you step into alignment with the greater good where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in harmony. Now it's time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you can never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel of providence, okay? Right now, as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the world. Wow. Some of you guys, God is, God is using you, okay? You do have a purpose, Sagittarius, if you've been thinking about it. There's a purpose here for you, all right? Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much, okay? So, guys, I feel like you're overthinking this. You need to get your confidence where it needs to be, Sagittarius. And you come in and the unaffected. You're unaffected by this situation. If there is love or finances, something that's going on in your life, Sagittarius, you're not affected by this. It's still going to work out in your favor. Remember to do everything with love here, okay? It's all about love. Love begins in light here, Sagittarius. Love and light, okay? That one, that one wand needs to be put down, Sagittarius. All right. Prosperity measures here. You are in the right place at the right time. Be grateful for the stars are aligned in your favor. And fortune is smiling on you. Victory and success is yours. The choices you have made in this past have prepared you for the opportunities now before you. This is your lucky moment. The timing is perfect. Your protection message, Sagittarius. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead you into something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one. Yet it fell apart. Consider this. Sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly to into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. <laughs> Go watch the next 72 Sagittarius. I swear that, that the jackpot came out. So there are some specific details and lessons that you're learning this week, Sagittarius, that you, your spirit guides, God wants you to 
No, they want you to learn from it so you can move on from this, this season. They don't want you to stay stuck in this season, Sagittarius. You've met your criteria this season, but there's one last thing. Can you learn the important lesson here in this season so you can go to your jackpot? Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There, it, there really is a silver lining in the cloud. Spirit always, know, Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. It was all started with a deep knowing this week, Sagittarius. So Holy Spirit is like, Sagittarius, that's a little lesson for you to learn. God is like, there's a little lesson here for you to learn, Sagittarius, in this season right here. We can't take you to the next season for you to get the jackpot until you learn this lesson here. What lesson is that to you, Sagittarius? Is it dealing a person? Is it dealing a family member? It, is it dealing a job? Is it dealing with yourself to change who think what the things that you have inside of you, Sagittarius? You know, what I mean, maybe you're pointing the finger at somebody else. What do you need to ha change inside of you? It's all up to you guys. It's all up to you, Sagittarius. But put that wand down, okay? It's time to put that wand down where it belongs. Don't hold on to it. You held on to it for long enough. This is a blessing in disguise. Oh my God. Be patient and have faith that your goals have this situation under control. That your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare to dream. Number 33. This is a blessing in disguise, Sagittarius. Have no fear. Number 14 breaks down to five. There's some changes here, Sagittarius. Don't be afraid. Fear is the trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disguising feelings of holding you back. Something may be holding you back, Sagittarius. They, the, your Holy Spirit, God wants you to know, Sagittarius, whatever is happening right now, whatever is happening right now, whatever is happening right now, it's a blessing in disguise. Let it go. Let it go. Look at this. Look at this now. You're not affected by this. Ten of Swords. People are coming to carry you out. You, you, you still good, baby. It's still going to work in your favor. Let that wand go. I feel like you, if you don't let it go, Holy Spirit going to let it go for you. Sometimes you got to let it go. If you like TKO. Okay. Got to let the thing go, Sandy. I want to get a trinket for you, but I can't even find my cup. I can't even find it, y'all. Sagittarius, this has been your weekly reading from the 11th through the 18th. Sagittarius, if it resonates with you in some specific way, make sure that you hit that little notif notification bell, all right? This helps me to know Sagittarius personally and YouTube know that you resonate with my messages. Also, Sagittarius, it lets you know when I post new content for you, all right? Thank you guys for your love and support. I truly appreciate you, Sagittarius. Comment below. Have a great and blessed and wonderful week. I'm going to take it to the extent and look at some new love. Okay. And um, your, in your career money. All right, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Be blessed. Bye.